Grade 3 Math, number 69, Improper Fractions and Whole Numbers. Yeah, did you know there's fractions that are called improper? That means they're not proper? They're not normal? All right, so let's do a real quick review here. Here's a fraction. This is 2 thirds. The 2 is the numerator and the 3 is the denominator. The line right here is called the dividing line. It's written as 2 with a hyphen thirds, okay? That means if something was split into three parts, that you took two of them. You took two out of the three, okay? So, an improper fraction has a bigger numerator than denominator. The top part is bigger than the bottom part. Look at my drawing here. I have a half of an apple, a half of an apple, and a half of an apple. If you took these two half apples, and turn this one around and stuck it back on here and put it back together, you would have a whole apple with a half left over. Okay? Half plus a half plus a half is one, two, three, and that's the three is the numerator. And when the denominators are the same on the bottom, you just slide it across and put the two there. So you have three halves. One, two, three halves. Three halves is the same thing as one and a half apples. See? Because you'd have one apple here and the half left over. All right? Three halves. This is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. That means that there's a whole number hiding inside of there. There's a whole apple. Okay? Let's take a look at this one. This apple was cut into four pieces. This apple was cut into four pieces. And here's a little fourth of an apple. Maybe somebody ate the other three. Okay? So there's a whole one, another whole one, that's two, and a fourth. Two and one-fourth. Now, because they're each little fourth pieces, you take all these ones up here as numerators and you add them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine-fourths. Nine-fourths. It's like saying nine divided by four, because that's a dividing line. How many times can four fit into a nine? Well, 4 plus 4 is 8. Sorry about that. 4 plus 4 is 8. That fits into 9 with 1 left over because you need 1 more to get to the 9. So that means you have 2 with a little fourth left over. 2 and 1 fourth. 9 fourths equals 2 and 1 fourth. Let's look at this one. You have a half an apple, plus a half an apple, plus a half an apple, plus a half an apple. You can turn these around and face each other. Maybe you could glue them together. I wouldn't eat them after that, but it would make it look like a whole apple again. And you could do that to these two, and it would look like you have an apple here and an apple here. Because you would put them back together again. So four halves, half plus half plus half plus half, is one plus one plus one plus one, which is four. You slide the denominators over because they're the same, and you have four halves. Four halves is the same thing as two whole ones. See how an improper fraction can be a whole number? So, those are improper fractions, and that's how they relate to whole numbers. All you have to do is see how many times the bottom number can fit into the top one, and that'll figure out how many whole numbers there are inside of it. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.